Question, what do you do with your wedding dress after the wedding? Answer, save it for your daughter because someday she's going to want to wear it to her wedding. Just like you wanted to wear your mother's wedding dress. What do you do with your wedding dress after you get divorced? Save it for your daughter because she is definitely going to want to wear that dress to her wedding now. But what if you don't have a daughter? 30 years ago, my mother married Voldemort. And two years ago, she got divorced. Voldemort left my mother because cancer was too expensive. Yeah, a lot of people call Voldemort my father, but I don't like that because I think it puts too much blame on me when I actually had zero decision in this poor life choice. My mother and Voldemort only had two children, both sons. So I will be wearing my mother's wedding dress today because there is no way my brother could fit into it. I've actually worn the wedding dress several times for Halloween costumes, and if you add up all the times I've worn it and the time she wore it, I think cost per wear, it comes down to about $80. Money well spent. The elastic in the sleeves has deteriorated over time and keeps falling down, which causes me to slip a nip, which I don't want to be doing in this video. So I'm going to be fixing it. But I don't have any elastic, so I'm going to be using the elastic band out of a pair of old underwear. Much like their marriage and our family, it's gonna look pretty to the outside world, but on the inside, it's a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> For those of you who think I'm being unfair to the man you would call my father, I would like to go on record as saying my earliest memory, not just of him, but of the world, was when he was screaming at me, yelling, this is why I like your brother more. And my last interaction with he who must not be named was when I had to prove to a judge that my savings account was my money and not his. That's normal, right? <laughs> 